Hey there, it's Paul. Welcome to the Amazon Alexa introduction video. Today we're going to create our very first Amazon Alexa application. It's super simple. Alexa is going to be saying some predetermined phrases, so it's easy to get into if you don't know anything about the Alexa SDK. We're going to be creating something called the Confidence Builder. Perhaps you've had too much cheesecake yesterday, but Alexa is always there to tell you how awesome you look. So the first thing we have to do at this stage is register for an Amazon developer account. Visit developer.amazon.com, register if you haven't already, and sign in with your developer account. Then when you've done that, you should be at the developer console. Click Alexa at the top. And from here we get two things, the Alexa skills kit and the Alexa voice service. Let's click the Alexa skills kit. From here, we're given a list of any Alexa skills that we have on the store. But for now, we're going to click add a new skill. For the skill type, I'm going to leave that at a custom interaction model. The language of our skill is going to be English. The name of our skill, I'm going to call morning compliments. And the invocation name is essentially where we say Alexa, ask morning compliments for a compliment. So. The invocation name will be Morning Compliments. And then we can click Next. Next, we have to build what we call the Intent Schema. The list of intents that we're going to put here are particular functions that get called whenever we say a particular phrase. So our model is going to look like this. We're going to have an Intents array. And the first intent that we're going to create is the get compliment intent and that's the one we're going to hook into inside of our application. So the get compliment intent is going to be called whenever we say a particular phrase such as Alexa give me a compliment. The other intents which we're going to write in a second are Amazon Alexa specific intents. Some examples would be the Amazon help intent which can be used to offer the user some assistance in using the application. For example, Alexa would reply, you can get a compliment by saying, give me a compliment. This will make sense later on as we get further into the application, just know that intents can be used to call particular functions. So the next intent that we'll be writing will be the Amazon.help intent the Amazon.stop intent, and finally the Amazon.cancel intent. Like I said, for now, you don't have to really understand this at this point. We'll be looking at this again in more detail in the future. We next need to add a list of sample utterances. These are example phrases that we can use to activate the application. Some example utterances would be give me a compliment, tell me how awesome I look and something like for a compliment. So we're asking for a compliment. So whenever somebody says give me a compliment, we want to call the get compliment intent. So we can add the get compliment intent before the phrase. So whenever somebody says give me a compliment, we are going to call this function which we'll write inside of our program in a moment. So if we save this, we can then click next. We now have to create a Lambda function for our Alexa application. Let's head over to AWS Lambda to get started in doing this. So now we're at the Amazon Web Services dashboard. If you haven't created an Amazon Web Services account, follow the process and sign up for the free tier. You can do everything under the free tier within this tutorial. And the second thing you need to make sure is that you're selected under the North Virginia location. At the current time of recording this, Alexa is only available in the North Virginia region for the Lambda functions. So we'll have to make sure that we're signed in at the North Virginia location. When you've done that, head over to Lambda by typing Lambda inside the search box. We then get a list of Lambda functions that we may have created in the past. If this is your first time, this is going to be empty. And then we can select create a Lambda function. This is the function that we're going to be creating and the code for our Alexa application. 
So click blank function. And now we can choose a trigger that invokes our function. If we select the box, we can see we have a variety of triggers that we can select from. We're going to select the Alexa skills kit. Then we can press next. We're now given the option to configure our function and add some code. Let's call the function my confidence builder. And the description is going to be for when you're feeling down. We can leave node at node 6.1 and then we can start writing some code. Now you can upload your code as a zip file instead of editing the code inline. So I would suggest we do this. Let's head over to our command prompt and make a directory named Alexa tutorial. Let's cd into that directory. And then we can make a new project. So npm init, and I'm going to use dash y, so we use all the defaults. Now we can install the Alexa SDK. So npm install Alexa dash SDK, and we can save it to the project. We can then make the index.js that is defined within our start. So touch index.js. And finally, let's open up in our editor. So firstly, let's make sure we're using strict mode within our JavaScript. So use strict. And then we can define some app variables. So let's define an Alexa. So first off, we can import the Alexa SDK and then give a skill name for our app. And then we can make a list of compliments that we want to give the user. So list of compliments. And later on down the line, we're going to create a function which gives these in a random order. So we can do var complement list and make this equal to a new array. We can add something like damn son, you're looking mighty fine today. Or <laughs> you can add whatever you want. And then, wow, you made an Alexa skill. You're smarter than I thought. And finally, let's add, if you were a food, you'd be an endless supply of cheesecake. Let's leave our compliments list at that. Now we can make the setup function for our Alexa. So if we make a handler, and this takes an event, context, and callback, we can set up Alexa by using alexa.handler and passing in the event, the context. We can set our app ID and we can add this to the list of variables. So var app ID, and we can add this later on. So we can go back and change this, just leave it blank for now. And then we have to do something called register the handlers. So the handlers are for all intents and purposes, the intents that we defined within our schema. So let's first off go and make some handlers. The first handler that we'll be creating is what's known as a launch request. And when the application launches, we'll be emitting the get complement intent. So let's make get complement. And that's a function, and we're simply going to return a random complement from the list. So let's make an index. So complement index is equal to math.floor. And let's make a random based on the length of the complement list. So let's make a math.random from the complement list.length. So effectively any one of these three complements. And then we can use the random index to specify a particular message. So random complement is equal to the complement list. And then let's give it an index. And so that would essentially now be either complement list 0, 1, or 2 based on the random number that we get back from that. And we can then output this to speech output is equal to your complement plus random complement. Now we can make Alexa say this complement by using the tell with card event. We could also just simply use tell and that wouldn't display a card. So what does the card mean? Well, if the user has the Amazon Echo application, the title of the card would be the skill name and the string within the card 
would be the output. So let's do this, this dot emit, and then the event will be tell with card. And sure you add that with quotation marks. Then we want to give the speech output, the skill name, and finally, the random complement. You'll remember that when we were creating our Alexa application on the dashboard, we said that we'll be get complement intent. So we still have to write that get complement intent function. And within the get complement intent, we can emit the get complement event. So we've wrote our function like this, so we can emit the event from a variety of different intents, should we wish to do that. We also had a list of other intents. And if you remember, it was amazon.help intent. We had an amazon.stop intent. And finally, we had an amazon.cancel intent. So if we now write our help intent, we can say the speech output is equal to, and now this is some help that we might want to give to the user. So for our user that's using the application, we would say, you can say, give me a compliment, or you can say, exit. And then we might say something like, what can I help you with? And then feel free to customize that as much as you want. And we'll also make a reprompt. So we initially say this, which is a longer version. And then if we're going to prompt the user again, we'll say a shorter version. So we'll make a reprompt variable. And this will say, what can I help you with? And then we can emit the ask event. So similar to the other event, we have ask and ask with card. In this case, we're going to use the this.emit and only going to use the ask event. And this takes two parameters, the speech output and the reprompt. So whenever the help intent is fired, we're going to initially say this and then say the second, what can I help you with on reprompt? Now let's take a look at the stop intent. So when the application has stopped, we're simply going to tell the user. So we're going to look at the tell event and we're going to say goodbye. This can also be copy pasted for our cancel intent. As both when the application is stopped or when the application is canceled, we want to say goodbye. The final thing that we have to do is register these handlers within our Alexa application. So we can say alexa.registerHandlers and then pass the handlers variable in. And finally, we need to run alexa.execute. This initializes our Alexa application with our handlers and everything else looks like it's set up correctly. Like I said, we'll be coming back to this app ID later on. And we have a list of compliments that when we call the get compliments function, it generates a random compliment from the array and simply says your compliment plus the compliment. We can then package our code up into a zip file and upload it to the Lambda function that we were creating earlier on. So within our function, select upload a zip file and then upload it under the function package. From here, we need to create a custom Lambda function handler and role. To do this, select create a custom role. We can then select create a new role and call it Lambda Basic Execution. When you've done that, click Allow, and then select it from the list under Existing Role. We can then press Next, and create our function. If everything was created successfully, you should have congratulations, your Lambda function has been created successfully and configured as a trigger. From here, select your ERN, and copy that to the clipboard. We'll need it because we'll be putting it back in our Alexa application that we were creating earlier on. So inside of our Amazon Alexa dashboard, if we head back to the complements that we were creating, we can select Amazon AWS Lambda resource name. And like I said, we need to make sure that this is in North America. And finally, paste in the 
function. When you've done that, click Next. And now we get to the fun bits. From here we can simulate what Alexa says. So to test our complements application, we can add a sample utterance inside of the service simulator. Now I just tried this, and as it turns out, it said the resource could not be found, and that is because inside of our get complement, I actually had speech out instead of speech out put. So make sure that you check your spellings for your variables, else you could spend half an hour debugging something that just you, you don't even know why. So back to the project. If we now add give me a compliment, we can see that we get a response from Lambda. And the content of the card is, wow, you made an Alexa skill, you're smarter than I thought. If we ask again, we get another random compliment. This time it's damn son, you're looking mighty fine today. And finally, if we check it again, we get our final one, which is if you were a food, you'd be an endless supply of cheesecake. So that proves that our Alexa skill does work. If we click next, we can now look at ways in which we can publish this to the store. So category for us would be novelty and humor. And we'd have to add any specific testing instructions here to the person that will be reviewing the app. So simply say, give me a compliment is all I'm going to add. Uh, we would like this to be in every single region. You can restrict this to particular countries and regions if you want. And we'll add a short skill description. So for when you're feeling down, Alexa has you covered. <laughs> add what you want here. And as well for the full skill description. Go crazy. Here we'll need to add some example phrases. So the example phrases that I'm going to add are Alexa, open morning compliments, Alexa, ask morning compliments, and finally, give me a compliment. So these are some example phrases that we can use to activate the application. We can then add specific keywords that'll help our application be found in the store. So keywords would be novelty, humor, and compliment. And you can add as many as you want here. And finally, we would need some images that we can add to our application. So we now have a 108 by 108 pixel image and a 512 by 512 pixel image. So we have both small and large icons. Let's save this and head over to the final section. So the final section details the global fields for our privacy and compliance form. Does this skill allow users to purchase or spend real money? Nope. Does this skill collect users' personal information? Well, nope, it doesn't. And no, it doesn't target children under the age of 13. This is all going to be different for you. And of course, this right now is just a super big example. So feel free to tailor this to your application. Let's save this and finally submit for certification. When we've done that, we get skill submission initiated. The submission process for your skill has been initiated and you should receive this response from Amazon soon. I've found that it takes anywhere between one to two days for a resolution. And oftentimes, if you've done everything correctly, it gets straight to the store. So there we are, we've created our first Amazon Alexa application. If you found this useful, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more tech tutorials. And until next time, my name is Paul Halliday, and I'll see you in the next video.